I'll just do a quick mic check here. If uh, you guys can let me know if you can hear me or not. All right, everybody, welcome. Just getting set up here. Flying solo today. Um, other team members can join today, so I'll just be going through some new content changes. Uh, we'll play a little bit of level one to level uh, however long we can go and see how we do. Just want to introduce some things. Um, so welcome, everybody. Uh, for those of you who are joining the first time, this is uh, Lazy Penguin. I'm running the streams. Uh, I'll be running the stream today. So let's, uh, we got 12 people. That's a good solid amount. I think we can kind of dig in. Uh, we missed the stream last week. I uh, appreciate uh, everybody uh, being patient with us. We had uh, some sick team members and stuff like that, including me. Um, so we didn't want to miss it, but it made sense. We also had a lot of um, work going on and uh, the servers and the client weren't really stable at that point last week so it kind of worked out actually for us but we're back live we're doing all well so we're ready to move forward i'm doing things a little differently today i know that in the past there was people were getting a little frustrated and when i would tab out the music would stop the game would freeze stuff like that so i decided to it was very hard for me you know i'm called lazy penguin for a reason but i decided not to be lazy and I have my uh, laptop here with the chat. Uh, hopefully that will uh, mean I don't have to minimize and do that sort of thing. So someone's saying we can't hear you, and others saying we can. Um, all right, I got two votes for we can hear, so that settles that. If the volume's too low, I can uh, see if I can crank it up. Just let me know. All right. Uh, I already have a question, so I'm going to just dive right in. Uh, the question was from Tichinde. Will stats be looked at for all classes and how they interact with skills, environment, etc.? Will charm continue to be used by clerics for buffs? So, obviously, we want to look at everything. It's just a matter of, you know, um, what makes sense. Charm is the big one. I think that's the big... Uh, thing that's like split down the middle some people like it some people don't um, I think we need more experimentation to really say one way or another uh, we have some changes that we've made which I'm going to introduce just in a second here and we want to see how those pan out before we start really shuffling things up uh, Dazmi is asking do we have an update regarding application for the alpha testing yeah, that's a good question. We have the, all the questions we want to ask of our alpha testers. You know, I think I might try to send that out this week. I'm ready to start collecting it. In terms of when we will do the alpha testing, there's some technical things uh, that we need to get set up in order to accept testers. Um, 
there's a lot of technical work unfortunately that slows us down a little bit but um, we do want to start getting that going especially you'll see today we started to change up some things and we really want to get it people in here and uh, giving us their feedback uh, the team has been testing it pretty well but uh, it'll be good just to get some you know some players in Uh, a couple more questions. Just going to scroll through here real quick. Uh, will we keep the current music? Uh, yeah, we'll keep the current music. Um, you know, Rose has had a couple of different versions, and they all have their uh, different login screen music and things like that. Um, personally, I like all of them. They're all different. And so I think it'd be interesting if we could include the, the older login screens just for the, the nostalgia. Um, but that's not a concrete plan right now. Okay, so today it's going to be uh, some content that you guys are familiar with. You saw it before. It's like the, the first stream starting from level one. But the big difference is we've rescaled uh, the game. What that means is in the before when uh, you know the game shut down, the level range went from level one to 250. Uh, we've decided that we're going to be putting a level 100 cap. Uh, for many reasons, the main reason is um, it, it's 2021. The kind of the grindy mentality is no longer uh, popular, um, but more so for us, it helps us uh, balance the game a lot more. When you have level one through 250, you have a big range uh, of levels that players can be, and so for releasing content, you have to make sure that you know players in all the different possible brackets can can get something from the content right and it kind of stretches out the 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 level band so if someone who's level 250 is really far away from someone who's level one uh, in terms of content skills and stats and that sort of thing so we wanted to uh, just make it a little bit more uh, just lower that band right like make it smaller and uh, we decide as a team that we don't we're not ready yet and we don't we don't know if it even is necessary to start redoing skill trees and things like that so we and what we did is we took all the skill points you used to get from level 1 to 250 and you get the same amount of skill points but instead from level 1 to 100 um, and the same thing with stat points so this had a really interesting effect in our testing and so um, you know it actually makes getting one level pretty exciting because you get a bunch of skill points um, and you get a bunch of stat points so you you get stronger a lot faster um, now so that's a little bit fun so that's kind of the big change the summary and we're gonna play through it so you guys can see here but I'm just gonna I see some questions coming in so I'm gonna make sure I stay on top of those uh, Emperor, uh, yeah, the the level, the stats and skill points are the same, just in a lower level range. Uh, Avery BB is asking if we lower the level cap, will we be making it harder? Um, we'll be making it harder at the top end, right? So end game content and that sort of thing. Um, one thing we might do later, and we've discussed, is removing the level cap. Um, but internally you would internally you would like max out at level 100 but then visually you could level past 100 right um, just you know so you can show off or something like that uh, phone is asking if we will allow muse to buff low level players for the same amount or is that considered unbalanced we have some plans and work we're doing on the on the cleric um, but it's still not finalized yet so that'll be for for later Uh, Sam is asking us to have a uh, customer service channels when we're ready and launched. Um, yeah, we definitely want to. I think I hope from the streams and our Discord and our communication, you can see that we're doing things a little bit differently. We want to communicate and interact, um, and so the support will be a high priority for us. Thanks is asking what will happen to the uh, items that were all level 100 plus. So yeah, so any item that's level 100 plus is going to be repurposed. Um, so it's some items are, you know, instead of thinking about like at level 100, you might have access to two or three or four even different sets of equipment that you could wear, but there'll be different advantages and strengths to them, right? So, 
Um, and we might include different armor sets at like lower uh, levels, right? I think we want to promote diversity. We don't want everyone wearing the same thing, uh, wearing the same king set and stuff like that. Uh, Julio Quiero, oh, I butchered that. Quieros, I don't know. Um, Alpha, we're gonna we'll make an announcement with the application process. We just had a lot of work, um, so we haven't really got the Alpha out process out yet. The application out yet? Excuse me. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not sure what transmog is, Defender. <laughs> Don't worry, Danny California. We're not going to get rid of the cleric. We just want to tweak some things. That's all. Uh, and we, you know, we've been doing a lot of testing, and the cleric is actually not as overpowered as we understood it to be. Um, but we just want to make it a little bit less of a buff slave, right? That's all. Yeah, that's exactly someone saying uh, make cleric better for parties. That's kind of the line we're thinking, right? Um, but it's still in progress, so I don't want to get bogged down in the in the clerics. Uh, the Finkster, yeah, we're going to keep all the same classes, so we're not going to remove uh, any of the existing classes. We might change them a little bit here and there. Uh, long term, you know, we're talking about like a year or so from now, we might add some new classes, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't think we need people asking if we're going to have transmog, which apparently is a wow thing. Um, I think we're we have costumes, so that's not necessary. Uh, Shell Angle eighty one is asking if we will have pets. Yeah, we. I really like the some of the mounts in the game, but I don't like that they're consumable items. So the team we've been planning how we can integrate that better. So, you know, mounts and pets will be kind of the same concept probably, but we still haven't uh, really got into that. All right, I'm going to play a little bit so that we get something going on the screen here. So I just want to show you guys we we rescale some things so you'll see what it feels like now. Uh, I'm just going to do all the quests because it helps level faster. Um, but you'll see, like, I get a lot more stat points and things like that. And I'm going to plan to go Hawker, since I haven't done it on the stream yet. I actually haven't played uh, that much Hawker at all. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. I don't know if you noticed, but we buffed the base movement speed to 700. Um, it was just really slow before. So we, uh, we wanted to get that going a little faster. Um, we're being I was being asked, are we gonna add third jobs or other classes and stuff like that? Uh, maybe it's too far away to really say if it's like a, a determined thing or something like that. It's taking a while. Yeah, one thing we have. Uh, we're adding a quest tracker, but it's still in progress because it's annoying to have to open the window all the time. But oh, I'm so glad we added the movement speed buff because the base movement speed was really slow. All right. Uh, question from what is that dog Specky? We will be working on optimization of the game. Absolutely. Um, we uh, we've already been working on a lot of code changes, like I mean, massive code changes, um, and we've already been optimizing different parts. The we haven't really jumped into like the visual optimizations yet with like the engine, but uh, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of plans for that. Am I not level? My XP so high. Okay, hold on. Something's wrong with this character. 
That's way too much XP. All right, we're gonna have to st start a new character because this is messed up the way I set it up. Yeah. All right, we'll create a new one. Uh, yeah, let me let's go female honkers, some nice hairstyles. See, the Wolverine hairstyle. Yeah. All right. Sure. What should we say? Uh, oof, I'm blanking on names right now. I'm gonna. Oh, that's too lame. I can't do honker. Uh. I don't know. Give me a name, guys. While I check these questions. Uh, all right. Taking the first name that came in, Eve. Oh, I can't do it. All right, we'll do Eevee. Let's do Eevee like the Pokemon, right? All right, just back to where we were. Bit that and do too much before I notice that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think, you know, um, there's someone's saying that we need to make quests better. Yeah, I think there's a good balance between quests and grinding. Um, so, you know, the team's all on the same page on that. There's there's actually a decent amount of quests until level 20 or so. So So I'm just reading some questions here. Uh Dad's me is asking what other major changes have we done besides the level cap? Um So on the on the gameplay side, things that you guys would see um, n none right now. Well, actually, technically, our level cap is uh, currently level 50, but everything's scaled to level 100. Um, so the reason we have the level cap set to 50 is because for alpha and beta, or at least for alpha, we're going to limit it to, um, to Junon, because obviously we need to rework some of the, the mobs at, at the closer to level 100 and I think higher than that um, rework like clan fields and things like that so we have to uh, get some tooling and things in place to uh, to do that Sorry guys, just trying to keep up with this chat here. Uh, is there going to be a mobs cap while we're grinding? I'm not sure what you mean by that question. We need to rework, obviously, all the old mobs that were um, higher than level 100, right? Because they don't fit. But in general, we're still going to keep... We're going to focus on one world first and then integrate the other worlds. Ideally, the other worlds will kind of be like parallel zones you can go and uh, do things in. So yeah, I just wanted to show you. Uh, I've leveled up to level three already. And you can see I have 45 uh, skill points or stat points, which is a lot uh, n higher than what you normally have at the same level. These 76. So if I start pumping my decks, you can see I can actually get a good amount of decks already at level four. So you'll see as I go through here, like I'll be a little bit stronger. So it, it's still going to get grindy, right? When, once you get to level 20, the rose grind doesn't go away. But you're at least a little bit stronger uh, when you're fighting the mobs. Oops, I went the wrong way. When you're fighting the mobs. And that's really what we're going for. We mentioned before we wanted to improve the lower level experience, uh, which is not to remove anything from the game, but just make it a little bit smoother. Twister's asking when will we start the server. Uh, the full launch will be sometime next year. Our, we're targeting alpha in December, and then beta is depends on how the alpha goes, but sometime next uh, next year as well. 
uh, would the level squish is the time required for each level longer no we haven't made it uh, we haven't changed the um, XP scaling so it's the same as before but what would be different is that we're gonna change the mobs a little bit Kafwan is asking would we allow us to would our team allow him or her to test a game yeah we will be having alpha testers and application will go out soon so uh, Plexcon is asking is the default movement speed faster yeah, we uh, we increased the base movement speed uh, to 700. That's a change we we made recently. Uh, we will at least release alpha and beta with Junon only. Um, we want to make sure it's nice and balanced and has everything that we all the features that we want and things like that. Uh, what is that? Linux or Inix? Yeah, we are. Uh, we will want to support key rebinding um, for every key in the game. It's in progress. There's just a couple other higher priority items we're working on right now that we have to get to before we do that. Silly Duck is asking, do we have any plans for modernizing uh, the graphics, lighting changes, etc.? What we do want to do. So the the Rose game was built in something like 2002, 2003. The original developer who built the engine was a grad student, I believe he was a grad student, um, who built it, started it in something like 1999 or something like that, right? So the engines, the, the rendering engine is pretty old and we want to swap it out. Um, just that means that you know it'll be, it'll look fairly similar, but it will run better. We can throw it on uh, DirectX 10, DirectX 11, maybe 12, um, OpenGL, Vulkan, things like that. So that's in our plans right now. But we're not we're focusing on things right now that gets us to the alpha testing first. Uh, graphics and that kind of thing is not major for the alpha testing. Uh, with the new worlds, will we increase level from 100 to higher? Uh, no, we won't be increasing past 100. Thanks, Danny California. Appreciate the support. Yeah, Empe Roar is reminding us we need to adjust the stat requirements for weapons now that. You know, you get a crazy amount of stats per level. So far, it's been okay. Um, but, like, closer to level, like, 80 and things like that, we need to take a closer look. Kafwan, this game will be free to play. Uh, and we will we will sell cosmetics, and hopefully that will be enough to, uh, to support the team. Um... Danks is asking, "What's our? How long do we expect people to reach uh, the max level, like level 100?" It's a, it would take about the same amount of time as it would in the past to reach level 100. I think, uh, you know, something a couple of weeks is the the time frame we're we're uh, we're thinking about. Um, you know, people, this game is very like item and equipment heavy, so you'd be stronger just by. Um, even if you're the same level, just by having better gear and stuff like that. Uh, thanks, Percent One, uh, helping me answer some of these questions. <laughs> All right, Let's go through these quests. So you can see, like. Anyway, these levels were pretty uh, pretty quick. Once we get to level 10 and go to or higher and go to Zant, you can see that I definitely feel a lot stronger at a lower level. And it's a little bit more fun that way. So if you see here, um, I was mentioned earlier, someone asked a question about pets. 
the the, uh, the team we don't like that you have to have a consumable item to ride and like a mount we want some kind of pet system so we'll be temporarily making mounts uh, not accessible like they won't be available um, but we're going to integrate them back into the game somehow in a better way make sure i'm doing the right quest here Uh, XP is damage based as it was. The XP calculation is the same as it was when the game shut down. Uh, we probably won't be changing it unless our, you know, through our testing we find it to be problematic. The main thing, you know, we want from our testers is to test some of these things. Um, the team is not very big, so we don't know how things work out for like big parties or things like that. So. Question is where the server will be hosted. The server will be hosted in North America somewhere. Um, where in North America will depend um, in, in the end where we want it to be. Yeah, one thing I've had people asking about the hosting and latency and stuff like that. So we we'll want to make sure that it has a good connection. Twister's asking if you can play with more than one launcher. I assume you mean more than one client. Um, we This kind of stirred up a big debate earlier. And internally, the team, we haven't implemented it yet, but we're probably going to limit clients uh, to two for now. So you'll be able to dual client, but more than that, we won't allow. Um, the main thing is because, you know, people made some good points about if you want to open up a shop and play at the same time and things like that it's you need two accounts so uh we we want to keep supporting that actually what we really uh, want to do is make it so that you can open up a shop and play from the same account um but that's uh that's in progress so i'm just gonna finish up this quest here i have to find an elder there we go you can see i'm already level uh seven here and not too much time at all so it's it's, uh, it's fun to get started here go through the early levels uh yeah so kieras is asking or saying that we need more quests and events that's that's part of our motivation for redu like making the level cap 100 is that we can focus on end game content a lot better we don't have all this like middle game content that we have to spend time on um you know if the leveling window is, is measured in a couple of weeks you know most people can get to the end game in a reasonable amount of time so that's really a big motivation for us it was a big motivation for us to lower the, the cap so I'm doing another, I'm just doing these chain of quests in the beginning. I've kind of memorized them, so um, you can kind of see me going through them. Uh, sure, Lod, Lod Squaw is asking how big our team is. Um, we have, oh, let me count them. We have about six people right now. Not everyone's full time. Um, we just recently added uh, percent one to the team. Very glad to have him as a developer. And then we uh, have a new designer on the team, Nath Zero. So these these guys are, you know, you might know them. They've been in the Discord for a while. They've been on other Rose uh, servers. But yeah, we're we're growing the team a little bit so that we can move faster and uh, get things out. Yeah, so Finkster's asking if we will support music interchangeability, you know, allowing users to customize the music in the game and things like that. I've mentioned before on the streams that I really like, you know, players modding uh, the game, and so I want to support that. The main one I think that would be really cool would be um, UI stuff, 
but if people want to mod the the music and things as well like i'm totally that's i think that'd be great Uh, Faye Wint is asking why not change it to have the shop be a game object in the world instead of your own character. That's exactly what we want to do. We want it so that, here, let's see if I can demo it. Right now, if you open a shop, you know, I think I can open an empty one. Oh, maybe I got to sell something. There you go, right? You become the shop and then you can't do anything. Um, what, we, what we really want to change it to is you set up a shop your shop gets created then you can walk away from it um and then i personally and this is a little bit of a debate on the team i personally wanted that if you want to collect your money or come check on your shop you need to walk back to it and check on it and then maybe we'd sell like a little item mall or premium account thing where you can check it remotely right but i think it'd be cool to be able to like set up your vendor stall and walk away and check on it and stuff like that I'm not a big fan of um, auction houses and that sort of thing. I think it makes the economy a lot more efficient because prices kind of all come to the same level, but it punishes people who are active and who walk around and who are willing to take advantage of an inefficient market. So I think we'll keep the, the vending system. Yeah, so... Dog Specky is asking, will we have offline vending? Yeah, so a natural extension would be once you set up your, your shop and you walk away from it, it's just up and you can log out and come back, log in and check it. So it'll just be there. We'll probably put like a timeout on it. Um, you know, if you don't log in for, I don't know, like two weeks or something, it'll disappear, but um, something like that, right? Um, well, I'm, I'm glad people are happy with the dual client decision. Yeah, I mean, I think we weren't trying to, you know, ruin anyone's experience, but we we do want to push the game in a certain direction. So it's always about finding a nice balance, keeping everyone happy and keeping everything practical. So being asked, are we going to do scrolls? Um, yeah, there was some like buff scrolls and things like that. I'm not sure if they're still present in the game and whatnot, but uh. I don't, we don't really like the, the buff capsules and the buff scrolls and things like that. So we're definitely going to minimize those. As long as they're reasonable, we might keep some around. That's things that we're going to have to find in testing. Um, personally, I think it would be cool if uh, the teleport scrolls, you know, I would have to think about this. But, like, it would be, in be interesting if it was, like, a skill. Um, and you could like learn to teleport to different places. I'm not sure yet. Some people like the the teleport scrolls because um, you can like sell them and things like that. We haven't really spent a lot of time discussing those. Thanks for the support, Kefwan. You too, Shell Angle. Uh, blood. I'm not sure what you're asking about balance. That's, I think some things might be unbalanced right now, but we wanna, we're gonna really rely on our testers to to let us know. Um, I think you know, players are a lot better than developers at uh, finding unbalanced things. That's for sure. I'm glad people like the shop idea. It's uh, it won't happen, you know, before alpha or anything like that. But it's definitely uh, in our plans. Uh, hold on, my laptop. Oh no, so I guess I gotta plug in this laptop. <laughs>
All right, I'm back, guys. I appreciate uh, you're not too hard on me for being a newbie streamer for getting a plug in my <laughs> laptop. All right, I was just reading some chats here. Let me make sure I get caught up. Yeah, Dallas, California made a good point. Uh, we were actually just talking about this as a team yesterday. The mail system, right? I think a lot of times you'll like come up to a shop and they'll have an item you want, but you don't like their price, then you want to negotiate with them, right? So you want to leave a message saying, hey, let's talk or whatever. Um, but right now, it's, there's, you have to do like through them, you have to do it through here or try to add them as a friend or something like that. So we definitely would want to make that a lot smoother for people because, yeah, you know, part of having a shop is being able to negotiate a good price. All right. I'm going to just take a little break here from reading the chat. I want to get moving along here in the game. Uh, as you can see, I hit level 10. In the past, you'd get one skill point, but now I got two. So in the new level range, you'll get like two uh, skill points for every level until a certain point when you'll start getting three. Um, so you'll see that it makes it more interesting because now I can get multiple skills and things like that. So I went Hawker as I agreed. Uh, let me get some more quests. All right, and let me get some weapons. Yeah, I think I'll go Raider. Why not? It's simple. Put on my nice gear. And let's take a look at these. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Uh, for a second, I thought my skill tree was broken. Actually, I'm not going to do skills yet. I'm going to ask you guys. If you remember any of these skills, what would you recommend? Double slash, I remember, used to be pretty good. Uh, no, I don't want any passives yet. Critical defense, attack speed. Attack speed could be good. All right, I'm looking at the attack speed. Dodge could be good, too. All right, I'm looking at attack speed and double slash. Let me know what you guys think while I catch up on these chats and start walking over to the Jelly King. <laughs> uh, Trigger, happy EU if you weren't in the stream a little bit earlier. Uh, the team, we came to a consensus that we're going to allow uh, two clients um, for now. Anything more than that, we feel, you know, there's just too much opportunity to exploit the game with more than two clients, so. Those, uh, Tichinda is asking if the old charms like Blood, Ice, Spark, and Storm are still in the game. I don't know, actually. I mean, they're still in the game. I don't know if they're available. Um, one thing we're working on right now is um, reviewing all the drop tables. And so I'm not sure if for like the, for the veterans, you know, that gravity did like a pretty big radical drop table change. And so we've been, um, just kind of parsing that and going through it. Um, yeah, we're, we're looking at through the drop tables right now, especially because we're getting we're reworking some mobs. Uh, yeah, low squad. It's a small team, but it's, you know, it's about the ability levels of the team. And we've really, you know, I sometimes I just want to just get the stream up and show you guys the code because uh, for the technical ones around, like the amount of work we've done uh, to make the game like more stable, cleaner, things like that uh, has really been amazing, right? Like shout outs definitely to Garnet and Linux. They really like the work that they've been doing is like a tremendous amount and it's really grueling and grindy work. So I'm really appreciative to have him on team. I'm glad to be working on him. And, uh, you know, it was actually flowing who implemented the new scaling changes. Um, you know, in percent one, he just joined a few days ago and he already found a, a bug. So we really have a, a good team and that's what's important. Um, you know, being able to work together and, and you know, do cool things. Jellybean almost killed me. 
Uh, trigger happy. We we want to do an alpha start alpha in December. Um, there's a, there's like some technical things we need to do right to be able to deploy the alpha server and be able to share like client updates and things with the alpha testers. So we're that's high priority for us right now. Um, and once that's in place, we'll be able to accept alpha testers. Faceless Sam says he's excited. I'm glad you're excited. We're really excited as well. Uh, Feywin TV is asking what we're going to do on the other planets if we don't extend the level cap. We're still we're still deciding some things whether, you know, uh, if whether Junon will go to level 100 or not or with content or whether you'll have to like travel to another planet to continue leveling. We're still figuring out the details. That's why for Alpha and Beta, our actual temporary level cap is gonna be level 50 because we haven't figured out those details um, or we haven't agreed on them as a team. Another thing is the second job quest is at level 100. So we want to figure out when is it appropriate to bring on the second job, right? That's a big one. Thanks, Shido. Appreciate the support. Uh, Calf one's asking if enchanting and all those things are going to be changed in their success rates. Um, we want our testers to to give us feedback on that, right? Because it's hard for us to say exactly right now whether they need to be changed or not. We we haven't been able to enchant or refine enough things yet to test, you know, to feel, but in there was a previous stream where I did feel it was pretty low. Um, so it's something, if you're interested, I think it was the fourth stream maybe where we looked at that, so. Uh, Sam, yeah, we already said we're gonna allow two clients, so. All right. Thank you, Honey Buns. First person to help me with the stats. So I will quickly, or skills I mean, let me quickly uh, give me some passives. Uh, get some dodge rate, why not? Get some triple slash or double slash. There we go. Let's see, oh man, this guy's. See, like, I don't know if you guys remember in the first stream, uh, you know, it was a lot harder to fight the Jelly King at this level. So now with my deep pool of stats, right, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. And one thing I wanted, we wanted to test and see was, well, does that, how does that impact for like clerics where they have to use charm, you know, things like that. So a lot of things to, to test and do. All right, I'm just picking some random passives here, guys. Just keeping the chat going. I think I'm a little behind on it, but trying to move through these levels here. Uh, Nimro, do we have ideas to make dual climbing less attractive needed? Uh, yeah, it's some, it's, this is kind of like a recurring theme, theme ah, excuse me, recurring theme comes up every chat. You know, I think people are intrigued. Um, we just talked about our, sh uh, the shop changes that we want to do eventually, uh, sometime next year, probably where you can just set your shop and walk away from it. Um, we do want to, I mean, we're pretty certain at this point, we're going to make some changes to the cleric. Um, they're not going to be, we're not going to overhaul the entire cleric, but make some changes where leveling without a cleric is fine. Uh, partying and leveling with a cleric is an advantage, right? Something like that. So, um, we don't want people to feel the need to have to make a second account with a cleric. It should, it should, if you're, if you have a cleric, it should make things easier. But if you don't have a cleric, it shouldn't be harder. If that makes any sense. I'm just, all right, I'm going to go deliver this Jelly King quest and then go on to Luxem. Okay, I see a big message from Trigger Happy. Let's see if I can grok it. I'll just let me read it and see if I can. That's worded rubbish. 
by me but like you have two sections like the price the vendor wants and the negotiation where you can put the price you're willing to pay for it um yeah i think that's too technical you know it is an mmorpg so i think for negotiation i think it'd be better if people were forced to have to message somebody and chat with them and, you know you, you get to know somebody maybe they'll be your friend if you have to like beat them up to get a good price on your item or something right and I think the problem with a system like that where if you can leave a, a, a bid or an offer on an item is that you can only offer whatever things we coded, right? But, you know, there's there's things you can offer like, oh, I'll help you do this quest or, oh, I'll... Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, I have no space because I have all this stuff. Um, you know, you can always offer things like, oh, uh, if you give me a discount, I'll craft this item for you or things like that. And that's hard to capture in a, in a UI, you know, in a, in a restrictive window like that. So, Avery BB, we're, we're not, um, changing the difficulty to level in terms of XP required. So every time you level, there's a new... Uh, maximum you know XP that you need to get in order to progress it might be more difficult based on the changes we do to um, the monsters to rescale them but we're not gonna make the actual uh, XP scales different and I did mention that pre or like earlier in the stream that even though we were rescaling to 1 to 100 we are considering basically making the level uh, the level cap uncapped so you could go past 100 but you wouldn't get any new stats you wouldn't get any new skills right like you would just it would just be you know kind of visual so if you're like a long time player and you like to grind or whatever you know maybe you'll get to level 500 but it's just kind of like for showing off uh nimro the initial caps can be level 100 but actually for alpha and beta we have a soft cap at 50 just so that we can test content up to level 50. Uh, Emperor is asking about runes. There's a really good chance we're going to remove runes. The more we've looked at them, the more we've uh, experimented with them, we're, we, we're going to remove them, most likely. Um, but what we want to consider is the, the stats that they introduce, whether there's like room for them to be available you know, in the game somehow. Uh, Dadsme is asking if we will stream the alpha testing. So one of the things for the alpha testing that I, I really would uh, enjoy would be to have the alpha testers do some of the streams. Um, so that's going to be one question on the application for people who are interested in hosting a stream. Um, you know, I'd love to join a stream as a tester and play the game as a tester and have someone, one of the alpha testers decide what uh what part of the game we're gonna play or do you know or that, something like that i think that'd be cool um, or maybe there'll be a stream where i'm just getting pvp'd on or something right so i'd love for the alpha testers to to be involved at that level i think that'd be really cool oh thystro is saying he can't hear the music you guys haven't you can't hear the music this whole time Thanks for the support, EKR. Yeah, we've really done a lot of technical work. We're now starting to get into uh, the game content. We're actually building some new tools um, that will help us like deliver some content, stuff like that. Oh, funny, I just said that. Haas is asking if we have any, uh, something about the tooling. Have we made any progress on the tooling? Yeah, so we've, uh, we received some tools from Gravity. It was a mixed bag, right? Like, um, I have to say, I like I have a newfound respect for the previous developers because the tooling is very rough. Multiple steps to do something, you know, things like um, adding an item or editing something or adding an NPC or editing an NPC shop is like hugely. Um, hold on a sec, just checking a message. Make sure, all right. 
Okay. All right, just got a direct message from one of the team members. I was just checking it was an emergency. Um, yeah, so we, we received some tooling, but I have to admit, like, it was, there was a bunch of individual tools that did different things, but they weren't. Um, if, hold on, people are saying the music's a little low. Let me increase that a little bit. Um, the, the tools are very, like, some of them are old. They're from the original developers when the game was made and haven't been changed at all. Um, we couldn't even compile a lot of them. Um, some of them are newer, like there's a new map editor and things like that, but they're all a little bit un, unmaintained. And so we're reviving some of them, cleaning them up. Actually, Linux had, did a huge amount of work recently to revive one of the tools for editing like uh, NPCs and uh, mobs, adding effects and animations and things to them. Uh, so that one, it, he's going to have that done pretty soon the way he's been going. Um, but I have been starting a new tool for editing drops um, because we want to start redoing the drop tables and the old tools really bad. So um, we're investing right now in tooling because the tooling helps us bring, you know, new content to you guys faster and stuff like that. So thanks for asking. Uh, Thystro is asking if we'll have like some kind of online database of like uh, items and things like that. Yeah, we definitely do want to have a way for players to find content and items and things like that. Actually, my preference would be to have it in the game rather than a standalone website. Um, you know, some kind of like encyclopedia or something in the game. So, um, if I can get a new guitar yet. No level 20, but I'll buy it. Um, yeah, my preference would be to have it in the game rather than a standalone website. Uh, yeah, dogs, we haven't figured out when is it good to do the, the second job. I think we want to get... Uh, that might be something we postpone until we get alpha testers in. We, I think the team agreed that waiting till level 100 doesn't make sense because some of the skill trees open up at level before you'd want to like start investing in your second job skill trees before then, and you don't want to just bank skill points, right? So we'll have to do some testing. Uh, MBS is asking what kind of payments we will accept. Um, just standard payments, probably. Uh, I think we'll accept PayPal and then traditional payment methods like credit cards and things. Uh, Dogs is asking what about gems, if we have any new gems in mind. Uh, not at this time. Um, we, you know, we might make new gems that are inspired by some of the stats you previously got on runes or something like that, but uh, we're not really at that point yet. Uh, yeah, Kyochi is talking about the, it's difficult to for them personally to have to walk around and check all the shops and things like that. Um, yeah, you know, we don't want to make the game difficult for everybody. I was talking more about um, auction houses where you can see everything and see all the prices and things like that. Um, but if it's unpopular, we, you know, we will listen to the player base. But I think for every player that hates auction houses, there's a player who loves them, right? And that's the challenge. Uh, thanks, Christ Angel. Yeah, we, uh, as I said earlier, we have a really good team. So, you know, changing the level cap and rescaling things, it's, uh, we can move quickly. Uh, unfortunately, the code is old. It's a legacy code base. The tools are old, old. So we're a little bit slower right now out of the gate. But as we clean up things and, you know, improve things, it'll, uh, it'll compound. So we'll be able to move faster over time, right? Like it's just this beginning is a little slow. Uh, 
Alright. I think I'm really behind in this chat. It's very active, so I'll keep scrolling, see if I can stay up, answer all these questions. Uh, any plans on increasing bag space? Yeah, I, I definitely feel like the inventory is too small. How we're going to manage that? It's also part of the the problem is this, these drop tables, right? Like, I was looking at it and a jelly bean can drop almost for like the common tier. It was something like 22 different drops. And then there was other tiers of drops. So like, you know, there's just so much variety you can get now in the new drop table. So I think part of it will be solved by adjusting the drop tables. Um, but I think having some way to like increase your storage space while you're walking around would be really cool. Like uh, a backpack or something giving you more slots. Hold on, did I get this quest? Yeah, got some honey. There's another one right here. Pay a little more attention to the game and get that one. Uh, this is uh, annoying some people. <laughs> Hopefully I uh, save some people some headaches. Uh, yeah, Metreon is asking if we consider an auction house. I, it's very unlikely we'll do a pure auction house where you can buy and sell um, directly and see the prices and things like that. You know, I understand that it can be challenging to like find items. So, um, but there's something to be said about having a, a little bit of an inefficient market. So. Uh, okay, that's not a question. Some Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, Honeybun's asking if we plan to have a forum or a suggestion channel. Uh, yeah, we uh we probably will launch a forum as our official um you know um, way to give feedback and to discuss things, patch notes, and things like that. I like Discord, but this guy is so big. I've never seen it before. Oh, nice. Um, the forum will be where we'll like collect suggestions, uh, maybe like where people can post their like mods and things like that. So I'm a big fan of forums. I think Discord is good for like real time chat and things like that. But we don't we long term we won't be organizing um, all the intricate you know all the details around it. It's just going to be a chat room for us basically. Um, for now, we just haven't had the chance to uh, to set one up, and since the game is not launched, there's not really a lot of uh, urgency for one. But yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's a good question. Um. Okay, so I think I'm really behind in chat because some of these questions were from a while ago or seem related to what I was talking about a while ago. After the level cap, we can reset. Yeah, that was like reborning and things like that. We won't be having that in this game. The uncapped level thing would just be visual. It wouldn't be actually. Oh man, I'm so behind. Uh, Fink, sir, we talked about the second job level again. Maybe I should just jump forward. I feel like maybe I'm going to start repeating myself. <laughs> Sam is saying touch and go payment so you can buy points from uh, 7-Eleven. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Actually, we're fully licensed, so we could actually... Um, you know when you go check out at a store or something, they have those cards you can buy and then you can use them online? We actually could do that, but... Logistically, we'd have to find uh, someone who can help us with that if we if we wanted to do that even. All right, I'm just trying to find some more slimy thingies. All right. 
Uh, yeah, like the that's something that I want to. That's something that I think the team is not going to decide. I think we're, we might even have to like ask the community what they want, and maybe even do a vote or something like that about how the drops work, uh, last hit or um, most damage or something like that. Because I know once you get like bosses and kings and things involved, um, we want to have a fair drop system. So. Yeah, Dazmi, I think, um, you know, I think the vending system already supports the wish list idea, right? That you can put a buy and say, I want it. Um, I think we can just make that more robust, you know, like if somehow like specifying some stats or something. Uh, MBS, if... For cheaters, I think we want to do two things. If you like see someone cheating in game or things like that, we'll have an official way to report them, um, either through like the ticketing system or something like that. Um, and another thing is, we I definitely do want to have a um, kind of like a bug bounty. If you're able to find a cheat in the game and you can prove it to us and you can reproduce and you can show us then you know we'll give you some kind of reward some like item mall points or something like that right because we want people if they find something to uh, report it to us and not keep it to themselves uh, silly duck is asking how this project came to be well uh, you know I've, I'm a old school Rose fan I used to uh, work on some Rose stuff or it's like a hobby and then uh, when Gravity shut down uh, Rose, I thought, you know, I want to bring this game back. I reached out to them, and after uh, it took about a year of discussing and negotiating with them, we came to an agreement. And uh, yeah, I s used my existing LLC to to license the game, put together a team, and here we are. Uh, will there be changes to the stats? Uh, right now, we don't have any plans to change the stats. We'll, we want to change things based on feedback and experimentation, not kind of ideology. So I do also remember the good old days of Dex Clerics and stuff like that. But, you know, I think don't need to bring back the old ways unless there's a, unless the new way is not good enough, right? Oh, nice. I'm caught up. All right. So been answering a lot of questions. Haven't been really previewing what's going on here, but you can see like I'm level 17 and I have a hundred decks. Like that's pretty high. Uh, a lot of dodge. So, you know, like it's, uh, leveling is a little bit easier. Um, but you can, st you'll see as we, I'm going to see how long we go for the stream. It's already been about an hour. Um, you'll see it still does scale off. So, oh, I should have got a passive. It's not really, um, it feels strong in the early levels. You know, you get through level 1 through 20 uh, fairly quickly. But then, you know, I don't know, for all the old Rose players, like, you know, once you hit level 50 in Rose, it kind of gets grindy. And so that's, no matter what, even if you're stronger, it still gets grindy because mobs don't give that much experience and you got to kill a lot of them. But at least it can still be more fun because you can kill them a little faster or maybe they hit you for less damage um before when we were we were testing and if you look watch the first stream like i would fight something that's yellow like this and i would every time almost die right now i'm a little bit more uh, robust and that sort of thing so <laughs> Thais was saying, do I know that everyone likes the grind? I agree. I like the grind too. I don't like the grind when I feel weak and a worker bee, you know, kills me. <laughs> I want to be able to at least uh, put up a fight for the bee. Um, you know, I, I don't want to have to like think too much when I'm killing like yellow and green mobs, you know, maybe when I'm fighting a boss or something. <laughs> but I agree. I'm, we're not getting rid of the grind, you know, it's just making it more fun along the way. All right, I'm finally done with these quests.
Uh, the Mendoza is asking on a previous project where I wrote a blog post about it where you would select your job at uh, when you created your character rather than in the game. It's a good question like for first job selection. I think we're not going to do that um, for this one. It fits the lore a lot better that you know you're sent by the fairy goddess to uh, the world to help deal with like the all the stuff right like with he barn and all that stuff so i think it makes more sense that you show up as like a visitor and then when you're here you learn to like get a job and things like that uh, rather than doing it at the the character select screen um also i think for new players it might be in more interesting to like experience the game a little bit before they have to pick their job so Uh, oh. I feel like these attacks. I've done this quest so many times, and the only one that's ever interested me is the attack speed one. Feels a little overpowered. Might have to take a look at these quests. I mean, it's level like 10 quests, so it's not a big deal, but. Uh, attack speed. Uh, attack speed. What? Is cool. All right, let me put on my new attack speed equipment. Yeah, one thing we need to look in is this like account bound stuff. So, unfortunately, we don't have like the. Wait, did I put on attack speed? Attack speed. That's the that's the thing right now. We're working on our tooling so that we can really evaluate uh, all the items and stuff as well. Oh, I've done this one. I don't need to. All right, let's move to move to Zant. Yeah, Shudo. He said that uh, this version's original PVE player versus environment balance is kind of rough for leveling. Yeah, and that's been our experience. I think the game, this version of the game, has a lot of good things to it, but it doesn't mean that there aren't any bad things, right? So. We, uh, when we rescaled the levels, it just naturally uh, rescaled that balance, which was really nice. So, uh, I'm glad to see another uh, old school Rose player here, Yefefia. Uh, yeah, I also, I th I'm trying to remember when did I first play Rose. I think it was 2005 was the first time I played Rose, right? Like 16 years ago, can you believe that? Um, and so. Uh, you know, I think most of the people on the team are are old fans. And the one thing I think that kind of eroded over time, which we really want to bring back, is that I agree. You know, I remember Rose being like a fun like community because the game was casual. Yeah, there was PvP and things like that. But, you know, people were just more like playing together, partying and things like that. And so we want to bring that feel back, right? And that's why I'm doing these streams uh, as well, right? Because I want us build up the community I want to hear it what you guys want and you know and I want people to be involved alpha testers to be involved I mentioned earlier like if people want to stream if people want to make mods if people want to make fan sites like I think that all of that would be awesome you know it's make it a community game um, and you know we all play in we, we log in casual have fun you know no drama kind of thing so Uh, Easy Peasy Bear is asking about a, a past project I worked on, uh, Rose Next. Um, obviously, like my experience from working on Rose Next translates here. Um, in terms of ideas we're bringing from Rose Next to here, I think it's a clean slate. So um, there might be some things that are inspired by stuff we did back then, but I don't think if we would port everything one on one. Oh, 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 clicked on the invisible thing. <laughs> Uh, the second part of the question would we be consider porting this game to Unreal Engine? So, it, for those of you guys who don't know about the, uh, you know, a couple of us on the team in the past were actually working on bringing Rose to Unreal Engine. We d we actually got pretty 
good amount of work done. You could walk in, you could run around and things like that. But if we were to make Rose an Unreal Engine, it would take us probably like a minimum a year for a fully working playable game. And I don't know, I don't think it's worth it personally. Uh, instead, what we're going to try to do is slowly change the guts out of the existing one and get, you know, the same benefits. So we would love to bring this game to Linux, Mac. Um, we have some plans for uh, mobile. So at some point we want to set up mobile. So for example, we were talking about the vending shop stuff. Um, it'd be cool if you could like check your shop on your phone while you're out and about, stuff like that. So uh, it's all in the plans. You know, this is what is November. It's only been two months since we received uh, all the code and stuff from Gravity, and we've really been uh, doing a lot. So it just takes some time, and it really does help to have the support from the community and things like that. And so, um, yeah, our priority right now is Alpha because uh, I know these streams are fun, but after a while, I think you'll want to play yourselves, right? So that's a high priority for us. So we want to get the game out. We want to get people playing, and then over time, like grow it and evolve it, and you know grow our team and uh, depending on what resources we have and stuff like that so uh christ angel yeah we definitely want to do um achievements i think achievements are really cool and actually shout out to uh, honey buns uh, she shared a resource with me uh, she helped come up with like a list of possible achievements and things like that so that is on our uh, on our issue tracker like our things that we want to add and things like that and so uh, we definitely want to do that battle pass I'm not sure if we rose really like would support a battle pass kind of system I'd rather just work on stuff that is a permanent improvement of the game rather than work on something that will be there only for like a short amount of time so well EKR says that all his friends or her friends that were playing um, aren't playing anymore. Well, once we release, you'll have to convince them to come back. Uh, easy peasy bear. Yeah, that's one thing that people don't really um, talk about is that the Rose engine was built for a time where computers were really weak, right? So if we do switch to something, if we were to switch to something like Unreal, you know, you would have to get a better computer to play it just by default. And so... Well, then one of the nice things about Rose is that it will run on like whatever, and so we want to keep that uh, that idea, you know. Um, and that part of the game is that it's fun about it; it's like it's simple and stuff like that. So I agree. I like that it runs fairly well. I mean, it definitely can be optimized for sure, but um, it runs pretty decently considering it's you know 15 years old. Uh, the Finkster's asking for mobile. Sorry, I ran out of mana, so I'm just sitting there. Would we make it cross-compatible? We definitely would, right? Like, when you... The mobile game would be the same world as the desktop version. But when we release the mobile, you wouldn't be able to, like, immediately walk around and level and grind. We might, like, have to restrict what you can do um, just for technical reasons. Um, so we'd probably start with focusing on the mobile being a companion app. Uh, you could like log in, you could like chat with your clan mates or manage your clan, you could uh, manage your shop, you could manage your storage, stuff like that, and then slowly move to where like, okay, you can walk around the world and things like that. So it'd be a multi-step process. Um, and we won't be able to get there until we, you know, clean up some more of the code, so yeah. Just reading this long message here from Mr. Sefi. Uh, yeah, this question comes up, I think, on, on the streams, right? People feel that the way that the game is set up is that... Um, oh, hold on, I have some new guitars. Is that you kind of just move through the levels and then you like never come back and so like if i'm leveling here in zand there'd be nobody because all the other people are higher level and things like that 
I agree. I, I that, That's a part I don't like about the game. I like to see people. I like to see life and activity. And um, we want to incentivize people coming back to the lower level zones. Um, how we're going to do that, that's going to that's gonna happen. We're going to have to figure that out as we uh, level things up. Uh, sorry, when we fix things up for the new level cap. One thing we're talking about is like, you know, um, game arenas and dungeons and things like that, maybe making their entrances in, in the lower level zones, right? So like, oh, if you're like a level 100, you're going to do a dungeon. Maybe you come here and in this corner in the back and you uh, have to enter the dungeon from there or something like that. That's one idea. Another idea is like making it so you can only open up your, you know, your shops in, on the, the Junon planet or something like that, right? So we are also open to ideas, right? But I think the easiest one will be to mix and match leveling zones. So in the back here, maybe there'll be like some level 100 mobs. And so you'll see like some people fighting over there or something like that. I remember when Evo first came out, uh, you know, I played, I joined a little bit later and I would go and I remember double slash. I don't know if it's still the case, wouldn't miss. Maybe this was pre-Evo, but it would never miss. So that you would just like walk all the way to uh, Gorgeous Silence and there'd be some people fighting some golems and then you would just double slash it once and get like, you know, five levels every time one died or something. So it, that was fun because like I would die all the time, but I was around like higher level players and things like that. So I think it'd be fun to, to mix people on the same maps. Yeah, thanks Isos for the reminding me about the weapon. Yeah, Iron Warrior, yeah. We, we want to update the graphics, but we also don't want to... You know, I think it's like little things. Like, if you look at the textures on the map, right? Well, players can't zoom out this far, but, you know, like, it could be a little bit improved. Some of the models could be just cleaned up a little bit. They're a little blocky, stuff like that. So We would just need to add some artists to the team. Right now, we only have two. We have one uh, 3D artist and one 2D artist. But later, it would be nice to have more. I think the biggest graphics update that could be added here would be better lighting. Um, and then... Um, uh, better effects. Yeah, quest is another good idea to bring people to lower level areas. That's that's true. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, EKR. It, like we could, if people want the higher fidelity versions, they can uh, they can mod the game or use a mod. That's really true. Um, and there's been some people in the in the community who have done uh, rescaling rows and things like that. So it's definitely possible. That's another good idea, Kafwan. He's saying that like maybe you have like uh, dungeons that when you go in, it forces you to be a certain level. So even if you're level 100, when you enter the dungeon, you're level 50. I don't know. There's a lot of good ideas of how to like bring people together. Yeah, ZZ Sims, I agree. It'd be interesting to see how to like encourage people to open shops in different areas. I remember, see, I think the IROs drop tables were a little bit better because there was like items that, okay, like bird feather, right? You needed them to make fairy wings and they would only drop in, uh oh, uh oh, oh, almost died. They would only drop in, uh, oh wow, that's a lot of stats. Or like they would drop in like the low level zones more frequently or iron threads, right? So like even beginner players, they would come into this town and there'd be shops open because the higher level players would know that you could get like cheaper uh, materials off of them and stuff like that. So I think it's like a drop table thing. If we improve the drop tables, uh, then that could happen. That could improve things. 
So I'm flying through these levels here. Get my passives up. So you can see I'm a lot stronger, right? And it's still grindy. Like, I'm only level 21. Um, what is it? It's been about an hour and a half almost, right? And I've just been pure doing pure quests and leveling nonstop. So, but it's already kind of scaled down. Once I hit uh, Zant, the leveling kind of slows down a little bit. Uh, oh, wait, I went to the wrong person. This zoom is on my debug client. I don't know if we would let players zoom out that far. I don't really see why reason you'd need to zoom out this far. <laughs> oh boy, hold on, let me unlock this. All right, gotta get back, gotta get back. Coming back, coming back. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you guys, it's a real-time strategy game now, top-down. You guys wanted better performance. Huh? All right, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, that's just a debug. That's not going to be in the final version. I mean, maybe we'll let, let people mod that. I don't really see why you'd need that, but... All right. Lena's Diary. Who do I talk to? Uh, Yeah, this quest doesn't tell me who I need to talk to first. Kino, I guess. Um, Kyochi's talking about instant dungeons. And there's like a time limit to... Wait, what's the quest here? Oh. I guess that's not who I talked to first. Oh, it's Mina, maybe. Um, yeah, you know, one thing we talked about as a team was like, instead of having a dungeon where you like teleport away and no one sees you doing it, um, you know, having like on-map events. So like maybe like for higher level players, like there's like equivalent of a dungeon happening, but on the map, right? Like there's some boss spawns or something here, you know? So it, it's just really going to depend. Wait, who do I have to talk to now? Uh, all right, I think someone over here maybe. Yeah, so... We definitely want to do all that, what we can and how fast we can do it is just a matter of, of time. And, you know, there's just technical hurdles we always have to overcome. And other than that, did you tell me who to go to? I need to start reading these. But we we want to make this game, like, we love this game and we want it to be fun. And so, and we're glad that there's other people around who want to play as well. <laughs> uh, all right scrolling yeah i remember zan was a good place to set up a shop you could get a bunch of mats uh any, any plans on making the town more interactive applying citizenship for a certain town or faction boost it's a good idea i didn't think about like town allegiances that could be really interesting I think um, I do miss the old union system. I think I don't know if they like removed it fully or if it's not there or what, but I did like the old union system. <laughs> All right. All right, looks like I'm caught up on the chat. Avery BB doesn't like our new leveling system, but hey, all feedback is good feedback. Could I introduce myself to everybody? I think maybe I did, let's see. Yeah, that's why for this stream, I'm going to be playing this character. And then for the next one, I'll be playing this character again. So we can see how it feels to get to level uh, 50. You know, if it's too fast, we'll we'll change some things, right? If it's too slow, we'll change some things. So I think it's important to remember that this is a pre-alpha stream. And um, a lot of 
this stuff is work in progress, right? Like we're in our alpha testers are going to find things that we're going to change. So we, it is, uh, things are changing. Things are coming along. All right. I don't, this quest never tells me who I have to talk to next. The NPCs do, but I've been reading the chats and not reading what the NPC tells me. I think I go back to Lena. No, go back to Crow. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, and I think, you know, when we're, we're talking about like the leveling speed and things like that. Ooh, new item. Nice. Oh, no space for anything. I'll draw I'll draw my one high ether. Maybe I'll go wait, do I need the high ether to refine it? Let's go find out. Junkyard Qatar. Nice. Meet the chief. Um yeah, I'd rather people aren't stuck grinding at level twenty, but maybe stuck grinding at level seventy right um shouldn't spend all your time at level 10 right like that's a little boring also oh i forgot how to refine stuff catalyst i don't have 10 of anything great did i just uh what ah, i'm not gonna spawn anything i want to experience the game maybe i can sell some of my junk though Look at this, so much money. You know what, I'm gonna put the bow on because I like my hairstyle right now. Uh, so all this, yeah, one thing we wanna add is like a, a quick sell option. Right now you have to constantly do this, but uh, maybe like hold a button. So when you drag it, it just sells the whole stack automatically. That was a idea from percent one. I loved it. It was a great idea. Because I hate having to do this. Like, I just want to click a button, hold the button, and click everything I want to sell. All right. One day I'll be done. One day. Can I sell this junk? Yeah, I'm on a dev account, so it gives me all this stuff when I connect just for testing, I guess. Haven't got round to disabling. All right. Upwards and onwards. Onwards and upwards. Um, on release, we'll only have one server. Uh, we don't have the resources to manage multiple. Um, one thing that I do want to think about doing is I know we might consider setting up some kind of like relay servers if we end up having a lot of players from like a certain area and their performance is too bad because like you might not have a strong internet connection at your house but you know we can rent a server on at a data center and then you just have to connect to that one and then it will, it will relay it or something like that so that's something we'll look into but definitely not at launch maybe at official launch but not at alpha beta launch Yeah, so I know for like uh, Oceania, like Australia, New Zealand, like latency gets really killer. So something like that could could be really helpful. Um, it's just we don't really have the resources to invest in that kind of infrastructure yet. But I know that that's something that's important for people. So I wanna I want to make sure we can. Hold on, I'm gonna go buy some fruit. <laughs> Um, oh, that's an interesting question. Who sells no? He sells fruit. If you power leveled and have incomplete lower class quests, will you guys fix it so that it can still be completed? It's a good question. I feel that if you've leveled past a quest, you shouldn't be able to do it. But if we have achievements and things like that, it might be 
people might want to do them for achievements. So I think that we'll have to take a look at that. I don't, I can't think of a reason why we wouldn't support that right now, but um, it hasn't even really crossed our minds. Minxer's asking us if artisans will still have hand grenades. I actually don't know anything about the artisan hand grenades. Um, sounds really cool, but maybe we can take a look at it on one of the streams. Alright. Alright, I'm all caught up. Nice. Uh, maybe I'll get to level 25 on the stream and then we'll wrap it up. I think it's... Uh, yeah, we're coming up on an hour and a half here. So if you have any uh, last minute questions, start uh, squeezing them in here while I pump my decks and get my dodge rate up. Nice. Well, I still get hit a lot. Let me start planning what I want. Get next. That's dual swords. Blind. Mm. Maybe I just gotta go all passives because I'm not loving all these. What is this? Critical, critical, back power. Killing whoopies. All right. Uh oh, more dodge. Is this a buff? Yeah, that's a buff. I'm always lazy to get buffs because I forget I have them. How long does it last? 900 seconds? Oh, that's pretty good. And attack speed buff. That's nice. I wonder how they do. I want the dodge ray one, though. I feel like, look, I'm getting hit way too much for a hawker. I want to dodge all these things. I'm going to wait for the dodge ray one. All right. Yeah, I'll have to look at the hand grenade thing. Things are saying you throw it and it does a bunch of damage. I don't know. Sounds interesting as long as... You know, I think Artisan should be able to level up, but if it's not game-breaking. Alright, I need three knives from Whoopi Gluttons. Hahaha. <laughs> Hods actually, uh, Flowin is working on a feature right now that when you hover over the stats here, it tells you what changes, what it does. So yeah, we I agree. Like here, like you, you know, how do you know what strength adds or dex adds and stuff like that? Actually, long term, we're probably gonna redo the entire stat screen, um, so that like bef you add stats and then you have to confirm it, so you can see what's going to change and then you hit yes, yes, keep it right. Also, if you forget to like do your stats for a lot of levels, it might not be for like most players, it might not be a big deal. But for example, if you reset your stats and you have like 70,000 stats or whatever to apply, you're just clicking this button for like 20 minutes, like click, 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 you know, <laughs> like so annoying. So um, that's uh, in Nath, Nath Zeril's department. He just joined the team as a designer. So he'll come up with a good design for us at some stage. But yeah, we want to rework this. Uh, can I move to Elverun Desert? I just want to see mob color. Seeing whoopies there. All right, let me see if I... Do I know the code off my head? Because I could just teleport there. Let's just start pumping in some numbers. Nope, 15 is not a valid map. Nope, 16 is not a valid map. Let's, wait, I think I know it, 21, right? Oh, that's Luxem. We'll find it, we'll find it, guys. There we go. This is just for you, Kiyochi. You want to see what the levels are? We'll check what aquas are. There you go, aquas are deep red turtles are deep red should i try to kill one why not 
you know how much time I spent over here and back in the day. Oof. Nope. I'm gone. I'm gone. This is not, this would not end well. Going back to my lovely Zant. Actually, yeah. Whew. Those aquas were gonna destroy me. Yeah, let me just bang out this quest real quick. See if we can get to 25, wrap it up. Uh, Hidden Envy is asking, will there be a better party and group system? Yeah, we've already started talking a little bit about the party system. We want to put some time into it. Um, the group system, what's, I don't, is there anything wrong with the group system? I know it's like maybe a little clunky, um, but it seems to work pretty well for dungeons and that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we want to do a lot of stuff to clans, but that will be later. Um, last stream, we looked at the clan functionality, actually. We went to the clan fields, and we checked out clan skills. So there's some cool stuff there. Um, but we want to make it better. Maybe do like a clan update or something at some point. All right. Yep, so I wanted the dodge passive. Oh, there's another attack speed passive. Dang. Go and dodge. How much dodge do I have now? Base is 273? Okay, nice. Alright, yeah, I'm starting to like not get hit as much. Awesome. What's the max population of a channel on a server? Um, the technical limitation right now... I think it's like 4,000, but that's just a number. It's more about like how much can the server handle, how many connections and things like that. Okay, let me parse this here. Uh, Hidden Envy is asking, can we get a tab that collapses the group and party tab so they aren't taking up the whole screen? Uh, especially on a 24-inch monitor. Yeah. That's a good idea. Also, can we limit the no XP when a higher level joins it? So it is closer. Uh, yeah, you know, I think... We want to, as I said, we want to look at the party stuff. Just don't know yet exactly what uh, changes we want to make. But those are some good ideas, Hidden Envy, I agree. Being able to collapse UI elements is useful. <laughs> Silly ducks making fun of me because I said parse this. <laughs> yep. I'm a dev, can't hide it in my blood uh, Kyochi is asking will the stat effects be scaled according to the job choice for instance Muse get more MP for int or will be scaling in general I think we don't want to do anything too radical with the stats uh, at this stage I don't think the game was necessarily broken from a stat perspective maybe we'll throw in like charm might be like a question mark there but in general it's not really the stats I feel like that make or break the game right now. It's really a lot of the other things like leveling, items, uh, etc. So um, I don't think we want to make too big of changes right now. All right. You know what? I don't feel like staying in Zan right now. I'm going to pop over and see if I can finish out my last two levels in breezy hills
Um, Hidden Envy is asking if you can have a slash command to use scrolls. Uh, no, I mean, it's very unlikely we'll add slash commands for players. Um, if you need to use a slash command, it means that the game is not well designed. So I mentioned it in the beginning of the stream early on. Personally, I, I'm not a big fan of the scrolls for teleporting. I think it'd be cooler as like a skill or something like that. Um, but uh, we wouldn't make any change for that that this soon. Yeah, let me kill some stuff. Where are all these pomics? Oh yeah, I can totally take these on. All right. Yeah, I think we want to do some cool stuff with skills. I think skills are pretty basic right now. And, you know, if anybody played League, right, like, or League of Legends, right, it's a click-based game for movement and things like that. But they have some pretty, like, interesting skill systems. Uh, you know, you toggle a skill and then you can click to cast it or things like that. So there's opportunity to make some interesting things, um, which we want to look at. That's one nice thing also about, like, lowering the level cap is we can balance things a lot better. Um, as I said, focus on end game. Yeah, thanks for the support, Cuff. When I agree, we're not, we're not trying. To, we we still want to keep the game rose, right? So. Uh, Yefefia is asking about macro inputs. I think we're gonna not allow botting. Um. I don't see any reason why you should need to bot. Oh, I didn't realize I have a lot of quests. Uh, yeah, actually, Chinde is talking about the no UI command. If you type no UI, it uh, hides your UI. But I think if you just press Alt U, there's a key bind for it. So. That's what I mean, right? Like, I'd, we'd rather just implement a key bind. You can open up the re key rebinding window and rebind it to something that you want rather than typing it as a command. Uh, EKR is asking if this went well, would we consider IROS or Classic Server? Very unlikely. Um, we'd rather invest in moving the game forward, mobile new rendering engine, uh, new lighting or things like that, right? Like bringing the game into a new era rather than remembering the past. Like I grew up playing uh, Iros, so I understand the appeal, but I think the game needs to move on a little bit. Yeah, Yefefia is asking combination abilities between players. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Um, you know, like if a skill is complemented by someone else's skill, they started to implement, I don't think, yeah, they started to implement this like elemental system. You can see here it says fire next to the flame hawk. I don't think it was fully fleshed out, but there's some interesting ideas there, right? Like you have fire and someone has, I don't know, poison or something, right? Like we can look into those. I do think that Rose is a, is a more of a simple game. I don't necessarily think that that's a bad idea or a bad thing. Um, you know, if you want a more complex game, there's there's a lot of games out there. Final Fantasy fourteen, WoW, right? So we don't want to make Rose into one of those games either. So yeah, exactly. Icar, rather than bringing back a iRose classic server or something like that, we'd rather invest in finishing out the planets, finishing out the lore. You know, we want to hire um, some writers to, like, write up some good storylines, some good quests, things like that, right? So um, that's why we wouldn't bring back Iros. Okay, last level here. Once I hit 25, we'll wrap things up. Almost two hours for the stream today. So that's pretty good. You can see I got to level tw almost 25 in, um, in just shy of two hours. 
That's a good thing to keep in mind. I'm not sure if that's too fast yet, but I'm also playing a pretty aggressive combat class, right? Cleric or artisan might be a little slower. Um, but see, these are the kind of things we need testers for. You know, if testers play and say, hey, I got to max level in, in three days or something, then we know we need to change some things. Yeah, Hidden Envy is asking, will there be admins and uh, moderators and things like that? I think... So we're going to... The way it's going to be structured in the long term is that we'll have like two... kind of, Within the organization, there'll be two different categories of people. There'll be official Red Nim game staff who will have some kind of uh, function in the game. So like, for example, a developer or a designer or a support staff or things like that. Those are people that are working directly for Red Nim games and, and have, you know, contract with us and stuff like that. But I do want to have this second group of people from the community, um, I guess community staff or something like that. So people who would want to serve as like moderator roles or like host streams or things like that, right? Um, so I think that'd be good, right? Like moderators even in like in the Discord and things like that. So that will come naturally over time. Um, but that's would be a, the ideal. Uh, yeah, EKR exactly right. If the leveling's too fast, I'd rather scale it, not in the first twenty levels, but in the later levels, right? So, you know, if it takes you one week to get to like, I don't people really remember iros but they don't remember how grindy it was and you get to level 50 in iros and you spend like a whole day getting like one level right or one hour getting one level um and that's fine but i didn't want the grind to start at level 50 when the level cap was level 100 and well actually there was no level cap. it was like 210 it was like iros right so like your the grind starts like a little too early um i'm okay if it takes you longer to go from level 80 to 81 than it did for you to go level 1 to 50, for example. Uh, yeah, Kyochi, that's a good observation. I've only gotten one equipment drop, you know, since uh, for a little while now. But I think the quest still give me stuff, so let's do it. Uh, yeah, Hidden Envy, exactly. Like, if, if you're on the alpha team and things like that, I would love, you know, and it doesn't even have to be on this channel. Like, I, I would love for people just to stream on their own channels, the the alpha testing and things like that. That'd be awesome, you know? I'd only ask that they put the word alpha somewhere so that people know, but, hey, like, if people want to grow their own audience and things like that, like, I am fully in support. Thanks, Saistro. I appreciate that. Yeah, once, you know, we uh, we had to get things off the ground. I kept it pretty, this the team pretty small, uh, kind of small circle and things like that. And want to get off the ground. We've kind of got into a good space. So grew the team a little bit, invited percent one, invited Nath. And I'm still open to adding more people to the team. So um, it's just right now, you know, finding people that uh, have what we need, right? That's what it's about. <laughs> Haz is saying the grind uh the grind to get your card in iros these youngins don't know what grinding means oh my god you, that quest was horrible yeah you just do this okay nice. said you just do this quest and you would never know if it would drop you uh or whatever all right Uh, would we add EXP recovery on death? Actually, we already removed that. I forgot to mention it. When you died, you'd lose like 3% XP. Now that's gone. I don't think you died. That's enough punishment already. Right? I know it like helps with um, like the revive skill that gives you back. What's going on here? I keep, I'm trying to get this quest. That's me. No. Uh, I see. 
you're the reinforcement. Oh, come on, this. What's going on here? How do I get this quest? I'm the reinforcements. Uh, no, okay. It's like impossible. What is that? I see. Oh, I think this quest is broken. Huh. Let me jot that down. Oh, that's a lot of points. All right. And so don't forget, like, this is the... These quests are giving the same XP as before. So we didn't change those. So you could level pretty fast before, but it was just harder to actually kill mobs. All right, as I said, after I hit 25, I will wrap it up. Next stream, we will continue playing Eevee. Um... And, uh, you know, see how it goes to get to level 50, which is our soft level cap for now. Took us, well, I guess it took us less than two hours because I was talking in the beginning. So it was an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, probably something like that to get to level 25. So that's, that's good speed. Hitting up all the quests, not stopping for shopping, not doing anything. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty fast. I'll be curious to see how it scales after that. Uh, so yeah, let me just, uh, give everyone a chance to ask their last minute questions here and then we'll wrap up. I really appreciate everybody joining. I have a lot of fun chatting with everybody and I'm excited now because we're in a good place on the technical side and I, I'm, we're in a good place to start like growing the team and involving people and hopefully get alpha going here in December sometime. And so, um, I'm ready to like, uh, have everybody more involved. So yeah, let's Last minute questions here. Let me do a quick read. Uh, Christ Angelo. Yeah, the bosses will always have better drops than the mobs for sure. Um, one thing, you know, we talked about was like keeping the, the king quest, but just removing the costume bonus on that item, you know. So. Thanks for the support, everyone. Thanks, Justana, Thaistro. MBS, Kyochi, Dad's Me, EKR, Lot Squaw, Key, Key Rose, X Key Rose. <laughs> Appreciate all the support. It really helps. Um, you know, the team's been working hard. We've been doing a lot of grunt work, but we really want to, you know, we love this game, so we want to bring it back. Uh, Kafuan, I'm not sure what exit lag is, but if you want to talk about it some more, I'll start a thread in the Discord, um, and we can we can chat further there. Yeah, Haz, glad you were able to join as well. All right, everybody, I'm gonna wrap it up. Happy Thanksgiving to you all as well. Uh, looking forward to to playing some more. Talk to you later.